This evening, 10 Investigates is looking into whether a battle over medication could put an accused killer back on the streets. A Bradenton man is behind bars at this hour, charged with the murder of his mother and her boyfriend. Family members tell 10 Investigates Jennifer Titus while he's in jail, he's refusing to take his court-ordered medication. So they're worried that could lead to him walking free. I first sat down with Thomas Matijczyk's aunt Krista Kale back in February. She told us how two years ago her nephew was behind bars for strangling his mom, but he was let out of jail after being ruled incompetent. Now they wonder what can happen if he refuses to take the meds prescribed to keep him competent as he faces two first degree murder charges. Krista Kale shared with us these medication logs from a few weeks back for Thomas. It shows that after returning to jail from a treatment facility, He's refused his medication almost every single day. We found this order from the court that says if a defendant is prescribed medicine by the state mental facility and the defendant refuses the medication, the jail should notify the court immediately so that issue can be dealt with at the next hearing. The document even notes that continued medication, if needed, is key to maintaining his competence. He needs to take that medication and he needs to, they said that he doesn't fit the qualifications to stay at the medical facility any longer that he they, as far as they were concerned he was competent as of last Friday he's been there two or three weeks and he's taken one shot in that that period of time and the state's attorney's office tells me that there is a hearing tomorrow morning to address his refusal to take his medication and that the medical staff at the jail is unwilling to administer the medication on an involuntary basis lawyers for the jail says it would be illegal for a jail to forcibly medicate an inmate they say the judge could order him back to the state hospital immediately, but if necessary, the state could ask the court to hold him at the state hospital until trial to keep up with meds and guarantee his competence. The state's attorney is seeking the death penalty in this case for the murders of his mom, Patty, and her boyfriend, Sean Harrison. Jennifer Titus, 10 Investigates.